Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 120 of Night Witches. So this will be the last, basically, combat episode for Night Witches. Um, I'm going to end the series with this episode. Now we're going to go right to the end of this flashpoint here. We have moved all the way over here to Herat. Let's have a quick look here at the star map. Right now it's really not occupied by anybody. But that's fine. Climate Desert. We're going to be here until we finish this mission. Um, and then there will be one more episode after this one will be episode 121. And that's just basically going to be a recap. I'm going to have a look at all the pilots, see what the skills they're at. Um, find out how many kills, how many missions, things like that. And we're going to be comparing them to um, Jade Falcon Freeborn just to see who we had who had the best pilot and things like that. So let's jump straight in. Now on the way here we had a, uh, a mission where Cloud was working on a medium laser. She upgraded it but got wounded unfortunately. So she will be out for this final battle. Um, not much I can do about that unfortunately. So let's have a look at this flashpoint. It is grim dark. Five skulls. Special loot cache. Uh, for Comstar, it is long with consecutive deployments. So let's have a go at this one. All right, Agent X, eh? Oh, I recognize him. Good to see you again, likewise. I'm picking up strange power readings from this planet, Commander. Really? Huh. I wonder what our friends at Comstar have found for us this time. I don't think this conversation is necessary right now. I'm trying to negotiate with the potential employer. All right, well, at least here I'm out. Let's proceed, man. Let's proceed. A friend of mine has gone around this planet, gone to ground on this planet. Need help getting him out of here. Cannot trust anyone else with this commander, not even my superiors. This has a personal request from me. What's so spooky, buddy? Back in a mist jump, put me in a strange planet, a good distance outside the inner sphere, where I might, uh, where I met some near sentient drones. Interesting. My mechs were captured and converted to drones. However, due to the heroic opposing faction drones, we were able to get out of there with our own lives. Okay, that's interesting. And this in particular drone was uh, was the one that helped. I need you to escort him out of his d uh, defensive position. He is a unique one. His AI core grows and still uh, grows till he gets overloaded with data and dumps it on a lesser AI. So it may seem simple minor right now, but in a few years he will be back to normal. Okay. Dumping his intelligence to a lesser AI, he reverts to a near prehistoric state. Well, that just seems ridiculous. Why wouldn't you just expand your memory? Anyway, he may have caused a few uh, of our more recent AI malfunctions recently and managed to get himself lost and in his now more simple state. Okay. Is he going to recognize us, though? Okay. Let's go and get this sucker. See you, planet side. All right. see what we're in for here. Grimdark 1. Four skulls. You need to be on your A game, eh? It's an escort mission. Okay. Um, let's see what we can get out of this. Not that it really matters at this point, but we'll see what we can get out of it. Um, target the planetary government, eh? Who are we going to run primary... Do we run our second lance? I'm wondering if it's if because it's a four skull. I wonder if we should run second lance first. I'm thinking we probably want to do that. Um, yeah, let's run the second lance first. I know it was going to go main lance first, but it is only four skulls. Um, Yeah. Kind of worried now. It is, yeah, I think we'll be okay. It's an escort mission. I think we'll be fine. Um, so there was a couple minor changes I made to the mechs. Um, Fist of Doran po pointed out that the, the uh, Thumper artillery was going to be a major issue because that was what was causing crashes um, in other uh, flashpoints and stuff that we played or other missions that we played. So I took it off. I, re I before I um, 
up, uh, let the uh, catapult finish building. I just basically uh, stopped the upgrade. Uh, so basically it's kind of the same. It's got an arrow four, but rather than the thumper, I put a pup pair of LRM-15 clans in and SM-9 for target accuracy. Um, so yeah, it's, I mean, it's not as good as the other model, but it's a little bit better. The other thing I did was uh, in the Defiance, um, we had some C bills, so I went ahead and upgraded the engine from an a I, I didn't I forgot I had a light engine in this thing. I put a Clan XL in, which gave us a little bit more weight. So I was able to put a upper energy and a weapon mount double plus on the ERPPC arm, and then on the rotary five ar arm, I took out the recoil reduction because we weren't really having that much of a problem with it. Um, but I put an upper ballistic for more accuracy, and then I was able to add a medium laser. So when the rack jams, we have an extra medium laser to fire with. So that was my thought about doing that. So that's why that's the way that is. And then I think that was, oh, no, sorry, the Mahler. Um, uh, was able to get, I pulled out, what did I pull out? Of? I pulled something out of it. But I was able to get a, a large improved, uh, for the armor that has a large improved heavy laser, was able to get a weapon mount in there. So it's going to improve the chance to hit for that. So that's going to help out. Uh, but I think that was it. I don't think I upgraded anything else. Nope, that's all. Okay, so Cataphract. Uh, how do we want to run this now? Two PPCs and the Ultra 5. The Marauders got the rack. Um, yeah, it's super accurate. So let's take that one. I'm going to switch it around though. Go this route. Uh, the Archer will bring in for D.Va. I don't know how much we want to use the Archer. And then the Hellbringer, I think. I'm just really worried about not knowing what we're going to be up against here. Well, let's go this route and see how we do. I mean, technically they're really coming four at a time, so hopefully everything is good. Okay, here we go. He's taking heavy fire. Please save him. Secure the defensive area and Grimdark will follow you to the pickup zone. He'll follow us or we'll follow him? Well, we know this map. Look at this place. I'm going to be cleaning the dust from my actuators for weeks. It's not going to be you. It's going to be friggin' um, Yang for crying out loud. I don't know why you're complaining. Okay, see how close we can get. Uh, let's go Satori first. Affirmative. Okay. I'm here. Going as fast as I can. Gonna keep the LK up. Ready for orders. All right. Double time. Let's go. Sensors have something. Well, hey. I wanted a good fight. Are we gonna get these shit vehicles? Of course, now that I said that, watch, you'll get friggin' uh, let's get in here. Oh boy, here we go. Kraken. Ooh, okay. Sleep near. 26, 64. Ooh, he's moved already, that's why. Um, what do you got in the front here? 115, eh? I'm firing 30. Uh, let's just see what we got. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Split it. All right. Got to bring some fire to bear on that Kraken now. Waiting for orders. Can we get a red line? We can get a red line.
All right. Let's wind it up. Hammer him. Nose is in a battle now. 38, huh? Uh, what if we move? Oh, that's a little better. I'm away. Double time. Full Warlord. See if we can knock his ass down. We've only got Artemis, right? Yeah. Hammer him. Copy that. Well, not quite. What's up, boss? All right, Choopy. Going full throttle. Hammer him. Uh, let's warlord this. Better chance to hit all around. I copy. Okay, he's tagged anyway. Yep. Okay. Speedy Gonzales. Um. Oops. Okay. It's a little better with the LK, but I want to do some damage with the dead fire. Theoretically, the acid should hit first, and the rest of these should do more damage in theory, but we'll see how it goes. Now, nah. does not appear so. Okay. Really got to stop using this mech against vehicles. It's far more productive against the side of, of uh, mechs. I mean, really, when you hit the side of a mech, you've got five possible hitting, hit spots, which is the leg, the arm, the torso, the center torso, and the head. But most of it's the arm, and the, like, the arm, leg, and torso. So it's really only three locations, whereas a vehicle, you've still got four, right? Front, side, back, and turret. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, guys, what are you doing? Well, you're kind of accurate, aren't you? I just realized. I'm sitting on the fusion reactor. <laughs> aren't we all? I haven't played on this map in quite a while. I don't mind it for escort missions. But it's relatively, like, a pretty straightforward, simple map. Okay, I think you can take that vehicle. That's not heavy hit with machine guns, really, really. Hammer him. Oh, pen something. Reporting critical hit. You got that right. Move order received. Orders. No, let's continue with this guy. Taking a shot. Yeah. See ya. That's a kill. <laughs> that sure is. On my way. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, I don't think we need to use the rack at the moment. We can just leave it off, save it for the rest of the battle. Shoot this guy, see if we can kill him. Firing. Oh, a medium set anyway. Yeah, these guys are pretty quick. So 
So I think Grimdark is the act, the same mission that uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn's got to do. I wonder how it'll be different for them. It's too bad that we're both doing the same missions. I was hoping to do two different ones, but we'll see how it goes. Although, I mean, I mean, who knows? This could be a really uh, nasty mission, in which case um, they're in for a nasty surprise as well. And he's running. He's running. See ya. Took you that long to figure out if you're going to run away, huh? That's all right. You'll be back. We've got a little present for you when you come back, too. Ah, sleep near, wax in your inner ear. Hurry up, buddy. Move out. we got some killing to do. I have no idea what to expect in the second and third round of this, but this was interesting for uh, being four skulls. A light, two vehicles, and uh, an assault mech. I was expecting mostly heavies and maybe an assault sprinkled in here or there at four skulls, but see how it goes. I'd be interested to see if we get... Um, uh, most likely we'll get a, a second lance on their way there and then a final lance at the end. I was going to step on him. Yes, Commander. Um, yeah. Don't want to activate Grimdark yet. Copy. Oh, really? He's the guy we got dead fire on already. Um, let's turn off the ones that have the worst chance to hit. We're only going to fire a few on this guy. Pot shots. Good to go. Position confirmed. Gotta be careful how many rounds I'm using up here. Okay, we got that guy. Enemy vehicle destroyed. The other vehicle's taking a fair bit of damage. We should be able to easily kill him next turn. Damn it. Well, at least you're shooting the archer. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And you know you can. Hope this doesn't activate the... Uh... Hmm... I don't know how often we're going to get a chance to run with dead fire in the remaining bits. We're going to put acid with the first two though. And yep. Critical hit, commander. Jam by ECM. God, that guy's still going. Orders. Can you? I guess you don't. You won't be able to get behind him, will you? If we activate, we can. Acknowledged. Hmm. 
There we go. Oh, we got so lucky there. You need to sprint your ass off, please. Jack, friend, we'll trust you, huh? Just say near optics down. Okay, near optics down, buddy. Well, we got reinforcements. That's a pretty cool looking mech. Although it's not a mech, but whatever. Oh, I'm so glad they got to go super fast. You know, I was always interested in why there was no other intelli intelligent uh, species in uh, Battletech. I guess in order to keep it, you know, relatively sane, I guess, it's a good idea not to have those extra intelligent species. Um, and what I mean by sane is... You know, if we're if you got battle mechs, you got to have something comparable to that to fight, yes, commander. rather than getting crazy and having ridiculous things that you have to fight. Roger that. All right, uh, what else do we have over here? Banshee, huh? Interesting. Wow. Okay. Let's cool off. Oh, we got to hammer that banshee. What is he doing? I hear ya. Moving fast. All right. Let's see what we can do to him. Let's get in the trees. We're not going to kill him. Roger that. Warlord's back. Going to leave this small improved off for now. Okay. Yeah, See what we can do to this guy. See if we can burrow through him. He's going down. Have a seat, buddy. You are in trouble. Damn you and your pulse lasers. The damage is light. And yet you got shot by a couple medium lasers Keep before and you were like, oh, that was heavy damage. What the hell? Right here. On my way. Jesus. Really? Yeah, let's go this route. Okay, we got some acid on him. That's the important thing. We gotta start pulling these guys down. At least this Grimdark guy doesn't move very fast.
Okay, we're going to kill that Banshee this turn. And hopefully this Sleep Near too. He's pretty damaged, this guy. Going to put some missiles on him, I think, from the Archer. The Marauder should be able to handle the Banshee. The Archer should be able to handle the Sleep Near. We'll get the Cataphract shooting at this guy. Or maybe we target somebody else. See what the Drillson does. These guys are faster than us, so hopefully we can do some stepping next turn. Actually, the other option is to bring the Archer around and step on one of those vehicles. While a Cataphract finish up, finishes up the Sleep Near. That's a possibility. Hope this grim dark guy doesn't move too quickly. I mean, I, was, I know he's been plodding along, but we weren't that far in front of him, so. But now that Speed of Sound Sonic's up there, he may move a little quicker. Once these guys actually decide what they want to do. Getting ready to fall asleep. It's not moving smoothly, which means it is thinking. Okay, here we go. Something's going on. Come on. Figure it out, guys. There's nothing complicated here. Got no weird-ass weapons. Drillson's calculating what the hell to do. Oh, come on. Oh. What can I do for you? I will take that freebie. Yep, everything. Take this. Come on, net warriors. It's go time. You got that right. Let's get your ass out of the water. We are not in step in range. We are in a bad position though. Okay, let's get you around here. No shooting, just oh no, no, we got shooting. Gonna just use two on this guy though. Inflicted some heavy damage. <sighs> Receiving you. I think you need to get down off of here too. Let's split fire. I want to target these vehicles that haven't gone yet. Or haven't been shot at yet, that is. B decided not to move. Uh, let's put you on A and you on B. Yep, let's go this route. Okay, we got a tag on him anyway. That's good. Okay, he's hit and tagged. Oh, you slow ass. Ooh, I right, take it back. Nice shooting, man. Yes! Grimdark. I'll just let you shoot them, man. Don't shoot him. At least he's got good armor. What's his weight? 1900 armor, huh? Melee, 494. That 100, it's a 100 ton assault. Okay. I should just let him fight, man. I don't need to do anything. Alright, figure out where you're driving to. Let's go. I guess he must be blocking him, which is why he's not moving farther forward. Because I really hope after we kill these vehicles that it doesn't take him forever to get to the uh, drop point. That guy decided to commit suicide. 48 damage, B80. Yeah. Let's not waste our ammo anymore on these vehicles.
All right, now they gotta go. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Yeah, but it adds up. Don't forget, we got missions after this too, right? Okay, this guy's got to go. He's got four streaks, man. You know, the only reason why I never got into streaks... Um, first, because there was no real modifiers for them. So, I mean, yeah, you could put acid ammo or dead fire ammo in, but there's no, like, streak triple plus or something, or double plus. There's just the regular streaks, so there's no extra advantage to them. Yes, they have a better chance to hit already, which is great, and they avoid a bit of evasion, and they only fire if they're going to hit, which is good. But the extra weight that's added to them, I don't know. I'm just not convinced that it was it's really worth it. I mean, you save on ammo, sure, but really is an extra ton of ammo that important? Standing by. All right. Let's do this. Targeting for physical attack. Okay, I get a chance to cool off. Double tag. Vehicle down. You got that right. Position confirmed. All right, stability back. We still got what? A little over half our ammo left. Let's drop some missiles on this guy. Hopefully we can finish him up now. Yeah, I should do it. Nicely done. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And one left. Waiting for orders. Is our rack still up? No, nah, it's down. It's fine. Rear attack. Yeah, well. Targeting enemy oh, PPC hit though. Nice. Christ, he's not even moving. Alright, once we kill this other guy, um, I'm just going to advance the the, uh, the mission until Grimdark gets to the out point. Because this is painfully slow. It just seems that whenever there's vehicles involved, everything just grinds to a halt. And I'm not sure why that is. I guess, I mean, I know they're trying to take the best course of action. I don't know whether it's because they can move farther. They've got to make a decision whether they're going to move and shoot or shoot then move or what it, I don't know. I have no idea what's taking them so long. I mean, I like the fact that they will do hit and run. So they'll move in, they shoot you, and then they, they shoot you and move away. Except for when they don't do anything. I know where you need to be, so let's just get up there. Yeah, we're just gonna walk. On my way. See if we can get lucky. Ooh, sixty-four percent. Yes. One more for the tracks. Excellent. Good to go. All right, we're just gonna move up this way. It's Got gonna it. be quicker for her to go this way than it will the other way. All right, we got our stability back. And see how far we can push Grimdark along here. On my way. Double time. See how far he moves. Ah, uh, nothing. Alright guys, I am going to keep going until this guy actually gets yes, to the out uh, point. Um, and then when he's there... I don't know, what's this little... Alright, yeah, when he's there, I'll, uh, I'll come back. Just before he moves out. Alright, see you in a minute. And we're back. Okay, so he is almost out. Um, I'm not pushing forward. I know where the enemy is going to be coming from, but I'm just going to sit back here because I know sometimes, like there's a mech that shows up here. If you shoot him before he moves, um, you'll sometimes, everything will just sometimes just lock up. You go into a spin lock and then you just, that's just it. So I am just going to sit still. Let this guy go out. Looks like they have sent reinforcements. 
destroy enemies. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Comstar dropship. What do we got? Sleep near 55 tons, and then we got three guys back here, which I have no idea what they are. See what they do. Fire starter. God, really at four skulls, guys? Come on. I got my difficulty set to maximum too, so I don't know why it's so uh, right here. messed up. Yeah. It's a little uh -huh. better. Ooh, what else do we got back here? Jorman Gundor. 0.9% chance to hit. 26% chance to hit. A little bit of acid, a little bit of LK. Sure. That looked like a critical you gotta hit that Yormi. Looks like we're gonna have a long range battle between our archery, archer and the Yorman gun deer. So our catapult, um, <laughs> with the arrow system and the pair of LRM 15s. I've got regular ammo and i got thunder ammo in that thing, so we'll be able to lay minefields with it. Alright, Satori. Good to go. Can you get eyes on the Yormi? I don't look doesn't look like you can. No. Um I don't want to jam before I shoot the Yormi, so I'm just gonna fire. Wow. And there's more where that came from. See ya. Oh, hey, it said engine destroyed. What the hell? Another sleep near back there. Okay. Waiting for order. Okay, well. We will deal. Elimination round. Yeah, it's so much cooler up here now. Um, temperature was about 30 degrees Celsius outside today, which is pretty nice. Ah, damn it. Good thing he's got lots of armor. At least if they're going to try and kill this guy. Like, he probably could have got out of here by himself. I'm just going to fire at him. I'll warlord it next turn. Yeah, we're going to move over here and we're going to stay in the trees. Just in case he decides to shoot at us. See ya! Alright, let's finish this up and go home, guys. Standing by. Moving to position. Um, wow. We haven't got a chance to really dead fire anything. I'm gonna leave some acid on the first one just in case we don't kill this guy. I'm gonna warlord it. Get the better chance to hit, and here it comes. Nah, quite enough. It sure was. Oof. That's just a long range pot shot away from death. I hear ya. Here it comes, folks. Dialing it up to six. And fire. Oh my god, you missed with both PPCs? Was it both? It looked like both to me. Roger, full speed. Wow, 10% chance. Let's leave that off. I don't want the extra heat. And firing. Roger that. 
See ya. Target eliminated. Oh, what's up, boss? That has to be uh, one of the easiest kills on a Yormi that I've had. You know the problems I have with Yormis. Uh, that's fire. Aye, aye. Just need a hit in that side. Oh, really? On my way. Yes, Commander. Let's go the same route. Here it comes. And now he's a smudge. Yeah, I didn't bother switching my ammo on that one because there was no point. Look, we got a phantom mech. It's a ghost mech! Nice try. I don't know if I should repair these mechs when we get out of here. I guess I can always stop the repair on them. Yes, Commander. On my way. Put everything on this time. Take that. Uh, orders. Rain some fire. Firing. Cratered him. Reporting. There it is, folks. That was a long one. All right, contract payment increased by 30%, 255000 not bad. You know, before they give you the option, oh, this, you know, adding that, sorry, my uh, ADD here, adding the, um, oh, this is the Cataphract. Oh, I thought the Marauder would have done, not the Marauder. I'm thinking of the Defiant, never mind. But Chupacabra, man, that's just killer. Anyway, sorry, I was just thinking, um, for, um, Flashpoint missions, when you come through to the end, they should say, you are going on a mission again right afterwards. Do you wish to repair your mechs? Yes, no. Rather than just saying, do you wish to repair? Right? Wow. Um, what do we take? Not that it really matters, but... Is there anything amazing down here? Like I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get a chance to switch out uh, stuff anyway. But one, two, three, four, five, six banshee parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, six Yormi Gundir parts. I don't know if we've got any Yormi parts or or. Um, Like, there's different variants, right? Is there different variants in the Urban Gun Deer? I don't know. But I know there is of the Banshee. So let's do that. And we'll take one Yormi part. Uh, yeah, let's go that route. Alright, do we get any extra Yormi parts? We Oh my god, we did. One, two, three. We've got four in total. Nice, and then a bunch of crap. So not bad. Ah, 200, 200 some odd thousand, 25 days, really. Yeah, go ahead, we can always cancel stuff if we want to. Okay, Grimdark 2, high orbit. These humans want to hurt Grimdark and they not stop. Can we like, why would it speak like this? A pleasure, sorry the locals are trying to put an end to you. Blah, blah. Such a unique life form. I don't think Agent X did him justice by calling him a drone. I wouldn't want to give him... I wouldn't want to give... I wouldn't... What I wouldn't give to get to know him better. Let's keep in mind he is considered a living creature until proven otherwise and should be treated as such. Completely agree, Commander. We should open talks with them if we ever get the chance. 
I will keep myself to professional repairs only, Commander. Good. How can we help you, Grimdark? Uh, we must stop the humans that wish to hurt Grimdark. I say we take the battle to them. Really? Once we get the areas clear, we need to get you out of here. Grimdark leaves when Grimdark is ready, eh? Easy big guy. The sun's going down. The sun is going down. <laughs> Grimdark doesn't understand what geoposition of a ball of gas has to do with leaving. However, Grimdark does feel calmer now. Let's take the uh, hunters. Let's take down the hunters, then Grimdark leave. Okay. You help Grimdark? Sure, why not? We defeat bad guys together. Oh, great. Victory is the only outcome, Commander. Really? All right, let's do this. <sighs> Taking the main lance this time. I have no idea what we're up against. Oh, do we have to like... Ah, oh, crap. Well, this is gonna be an interesting go. Um. For sure the Black Knight. God, this guy. We had to take this guy with us. Really? Really? We're here to kill. Uh, sorry, hot damn, but we're gonna have to, you're going to have to stay out. Let's bring Sunflower in with the Mauler. And um, let's bring in some fire support. I think four LRM-20s. Uh, are do you want to give the Defiance a whirl with the Rack 5 and double accuracy PPCs? Let's go that route. Let's go fire support. Let's keep our fingers crossed. All right. Attack them, Commander. Turn them to rubble. Well, yeah, they got reinforcements coming. What are those? Trees? What's up, boss? I'm wondering if we split up here. It is two vehicles down the road. I have no idea what they are. Nah. Copy that. Locking on target. Let's show this grimdark how we do things in the inner sphere. Negative. My thought was to move uh, Megasaur over here. Because if it is four vehicles, she could squash one pretty much every turn. Gonna be caught in the open. But, we'll see how it goes. I'm interested to see uh, how accurate these PPCs are. Do we actually get to move Grimdark? Totally get to move him. If he could move this fast, why didn't he move this fast before? Really need to get a supercharger in this thing somehow. Not for long. Akira. Destroy the first patrol, huh? Come on. Figure out what you're doing.
I got a fistful of dollars for that Vakira. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. You think? Nine hundred and forty armor. Man, these things can be dangerous. But you know, when you got ultra twenties it really isn't that dangerous. Come on, figure out what you're doing. I think it probably is four vehicles over there. Man, it's going to be a long episode, guys, if the, if the AI is going to take this long deciding what it's going to do. Because it's painful. Alright, yeah, I got to see if we can get up there and get eyes on this guy. Is that going to give room for Megasaur to get through? Probably. I don't know if we get eyes on him here, though. Nope. What do we got up here? Catapult. Thunderbolt, eh? Um, do I want to shoot this guy? Three Flamers, MRM-20, Rotary-2. Let's go this route. Let's shoot this guy. Sure, we made business. Cataphract, okay. So they do have some mechs over there. We still can't see anybody. Let's reserve. I should have checked out Grim's Grimdark's loadout. I mean I checked it out in the last thing, but should have been more aware because maybe bring a megasaur was a bad idea if we use him as a melee mech instead. Galahad, eh? Wow. I guess we're because we're at range here. Well, that's a pretty good chance to hit. Think we could kill this guy? 170 now, probably not. 34, eh? Oh, we got one hit on him, though. I wonder if she's got a... I don't want to... Waiting for orders. Uh, she's just going to reserve. Commander. Supercharger! What do you know? Uh, you don't have the speed to get up here, though? At least it's going to limit what he can do. God, they're still not moving, eh? Are they not doing anything? Standing by. There we go. Target. 
think that's enough evasion. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so it's another fulcrum back there. Are you Lerm? Sure are. Nice that you swarmed your guy. <laughs> Such a professional move. Let's get in the trees. Gonna hit this guy here. Hey, I'm firing. Ooh, not quite enough. Yeah, well, at least Sunflower will go before the uh, the uh, Thunderbolt. Hopefully we can take him down. The Galahad should go down relatively quick. Ah, oh, shit. What did you destroy? Just pissing her off. It was the arm you hit. I thought you hit the CT, man. I was like, oh shit. Double time, let's go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is what you get. Oh my god, you survived that. <gasps> Just barely, though. That Valkyra's gotta go. At least he's far out of the. Uh, at least he's far out of the action. Grimdark goes on fourteen, eh? Oh, I hate these guys. Yeah, but you're gonna punch him for four hundred and some odd damage. So I don't know why you're worried. I'll get you going first because I want to see what you can do here. So let's uh, turn off the supercharger because you don't need it on for this one. Uh, we want to berserk this guy. Because why not? Uh, Backshot? Yes, please. 724 damage. Here it comes. Bye bye. Okay, we got to make sure this guy goes away. Same thing, get that supercharger off. I don't think we need the Berserker. We should punch straight through this guy. Here it comes. Roger. Targeting for physical attack. Yep. Target neutralized. Okay, Megasaur and, and Baba Yaga, eh? Well, I'm kind of... Wow, God, look at the CT. What did we get hit with, though? Besides everything. This guy goes first, and we can go. I'll get her out of there. Yeah, I wish I had some jump jets at this point. Oh, good. I just jump up here. Yeah. We got eyes on all those guys, so hopefully she'll be able to step in and clobber somebody. I really want to get rid of this vehicle, but I don't think it's the threat. I think this Galahad needs to go. 
This guy should go down this turn. Get those Ultra 20s on it. Deal some death blows. Rotary 2 is jammed, so I don't have to worry about that. I mean, it could have hit me in the CT with the Rotary 2, too. That could have been the reason why it strips so much armor. Alright guys, figure out where you're going. Goddamn vehicles. Sorry for the goddamn bit. Getting vigilance with her. I think we're gonna fire and maneuver. So let's go after let's go after this guy, see if we can kill him. Uh, that's a lot of damage, so maybe we shift it to the vehicle. No, because it didn't move. Should we step on it or should we punch out the gal I think we should shoot this guy and punch out the Galahad. Ah, not quite enough, eh? Okay, both these guys go. Thank you for moving in so we can see you a little better. Reporting minimal damage. Order. I have some Fists of Fury for you. Fists of Fury! Here it comes! See ya! God, that flail for the finishing move. I mean, it could be a toss-up between that and the Plasma Lance. The Plasma Lance does give me a bit of heat, but not enough to keep the uh, TSMs on. So the Flail having the actual three chances to hit. Why are you turning your back to me, man? You knew I, you know I have double pair of Ultra 20s back here, right? Anyways, having that um, that Flail gives you those three chances to hit. Excuse me. I finished up a fair number of mechs that way. Well, it was your job to kill the Thunderbolt anyway, so... Finish him up! <laughs> Everything hit! <laughs> he splattered it all over the vehicle. The Thunderbolt's body's like halfway up this hill here. Ooh, what was that, a 130? Who got hit? Megasaur, 130. Kerberos, oh, ah, really? Yes, Commander. <sighs> That's it with the supercharger on? Alright, we gotta get a direct fire. That's stupid Kerberos now. Till we can handle it effect effectively. Alright. Nicely done. See, she can kill even if she doesn't have a, a uh, chance to melee. Commander. 
standing by. Okay. Let's bring him in closer. I don't think they can see Grimdark. Okay, fails 0%. That's the Kerberos there. Double time. Let's go. Give him everything you got. Order. I don't know why you think you're the leader. Why you think you're the leader, buddy? Okay, all uh, the same chance to hit doesn't matter. All right, three. Yeah, one hit. Destroy the second patrol. That Kerber should be relatively easy to pull down once it gets within range. The cataphract will go down fast. I mean, I don't know if it's the melee. I don't know if the 1E is the melee version or what it is. Nope. Uh, ER mediums, ultra 10, flamer. Okay, we can handle that. 920 armor, so it's not a lot. Nothing a pair of ultra 20s can't handle. Come on, Fulcrum. What are you doing? Make that decision. Come up in here. Oh, sitting tight, huh? Let's not take too much of a risk. We should still be okay here. Got our warlord back, which is great. He's not moving in. Okay, Grimdark, I should just like... <sighs> Alright, let's get you into here. Standing by. Turn the supercharger off. I'm just going to sprint over here. Going full throttle. Yeah, we're, we're okay. I like the fact that Kerberos is just sitting there. Waiting for orders. Not that major. That Kerberos is just sitting there. <sighs> Gotta decide what we're gonna do here. If he moves forward. I mean, we could sneak Megasaur down to the Deflate down in here. But here's the thing, is we've got to be able to see him to be able to melee him, right? Just in case that Kerberos does see us. Uh, turn our right side. Gonna use a warlord in this guy. 
Ooh, fire it all. Okay. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. What's up, boss? Confirmed. All right. Same thing. See if we can finish this guy up. Come on. Held a lot of damage. That hit something good. Ooh, we got a knockdown. Perfect. Okay, Grimdark can get up here. Still be in a good hidden position. Yeah, because the Kerberos is trying to move back to see him, I think. Uh, maybe we can finish him up. And then Megasaur can step on the vehicle. Nice. Now Megasaur can step on this vehicle next turn. And that Kerberos shouldn't be able to see us. This vehicle is technically acting like eyes on. Not anymore. Reporting one left vehicle. Okay. Now. Let's get up into here. Ready for orders. Up into here. Acknowledged. See if he moves forward. Yep. Slow ass, but he's moving forward. Receiving you. <sighs> Roger that. Commander. Now, do you have your TSM state is off? Okay, down in the defilade. Okay, we got our speed up now. All we gotta do is spot him. Here we go. Full speed. Okay, we got eyes on. Hammer him. Okay. Hammer him. Let's do this. Close that gap. Oh, yes. BFG's gone. Nice. You still don't have enough to step on him? That's bullshit. I call that bullshit. Oh, there we go. Oh, I forgot to turn the flail on. Oh, well. Not that it makes that much difference. Targeting for physical attack. See ya. That's a kill. Sure is. Me, Grimdark King. What? No, you're not. Mission successful. 
All right, there's the second one, 695,000. We didn't do too bad on that, We do, although we did take a, a couple of shots. Man, that's internal structure damage too, eh? On the Defiance. Damn. Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. All right, let's go next. Ooh, five kills for, the Bla for uh, Megasaur. Grimdark guy too, though. Good for him. All right, Cataphract part... Thunderbolt parts. We only get three, so I don't think there's anything down here we want. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to get to use these. But I'm going to take those. And... Um, sure. Two Galahad parts. Kerberos Thunderbolt part, and a bunch of other stuff. Alright. Ah, Thunderbolt. What do you know? It's an SLDF Thunderbolt, too. 21 days for repairs. Oh my god, the repairs are killing us in length of time. Well, I mean, we still got mechs left over. Grimdark, finish this now, eh? Who is to argue with the king, Commander? Uh, okay. Let's go after whoever's down here. Planetary government. Let's go for these guys. We still got some heavy, hefty mech warriors left, so... Uh... Who are we going to take? Um... Basilisk? AC mech? Well, we never did bring the catapult. So there's artillery. Well, yeah, we'll do the blood ass about then. Okay. I mean, we could go all artillery. Is that really going to do it for us, though? This guy's a melee guy. I mean, I want to get hot damn in this, but I don't know. This Grimdark is so damn slow. Tactics 4, yeah, you think? Um, I don't know. I think we're going to go wait. Just go wait on this. Take Baba Yaga. Hot damn can come in, but she can run the Blood Asp. Um, and we'll bring Satori for the Catapult. Yep, let's do this. Command well, let's see how much of a king this Grimdark really is. The recovery jump ship Praise Blake will be here soon, eh? Alright. So we got guys behind us, probably. Oh, yeah. No, maybe not. Yes, Commander. Aye. Okay. I hear ya. Set up missile command back here. Um... Of course you do. I'm receiving you. Moving out. All right, what do we got here? Catapult, Okira, Thunderbolt, Catapult. Let's stop this guy from getting too close. Want to thunder him? 
It's not going to be enough, is it? Uh, hmm. Really? See, the thing is, we don't have a lot of thunder ammo. We got three turns at best. Let's see how many we can get on this guy. Ow. That's a hella good direct fire mech. Well, these guys sure as hell are serious. Corsair, we didn't see, that's why. One other guy back here somewhere. Mm. The reason why I'm shooting this guy is because he's going to melee his way through the other guys. So I don't think we need the extra damage on that catapult. I brought the wrong mechs here. Good to go. The main lance would have been nice. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Let's put some more thunder on that guy, but let's hit the uh, the Corsair for some instability. Uh -huh. Okay, got a ping on him. Okay, that should be a hefty minefield over there now. We need to get on this Corsair. Uh, can we get down on him? I think Grimdark will be fine on his own. He's 100 tons. Um, hammer him. Wow, that was pitiful. That was pitiful. I'm receiving you. Confirm. Barbarian, okay. Uh let's go swarm. And fire. Okay, so he took significant damage there. I don't know what turn he goes on. <laughs> Aeris is backing up. Reporting enemy contact. How much damage did he take in his legs? Looks like it took significant. They've got a center lock on me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he took a fair bit of damage in those legs. Okay, thank goodness he switched targets. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Okay.
He doesn't have enough stability back. He's going down next turn. Okay, I think we take this Thunderbolt out first. That's the C-21, okay. Waiting for orders. Don't need to tell me twice. Same thing. V getting thunder. Firing. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. God, it's such a terrible chance to hit. Um, I don't want to move too far away from Grimdark, though. That's the problem. Let's get up here. Let's apply some damage to this guy. Way better chances to hit. Um, let's dial the rotary twos up. And hammer him. Okay, we destroyed one of his ELRMs. I think Grimdark should take out this. Uh, yep. You got to kill this guy, please. Um, turn it off. Uh, what? Really? Mm, I think he's going to survive. I don't think so. I don't think so. Had to hit the arm, didn't you? Did we kill him though? No, nope, he's just going down. <sighs> really? Really? Can't let that guy get close either. To back up our missile mechs here. Yes, Commander. All right, let's just go right after this guy, and then we'll move back. Just back up. Get in the trees. At least I know we can stop these melee mechs with uh, thunder ammo. Losing lots of armor. Okay. Okay, okay. Gonna hit that guy on the ground. Ooh, that could have been a hell of a lot worse. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. What's this guy got left? 
lasers, eh? I think we should target somebody else this turn. Maybe the Centurion? Okay, he took 15 from Minefield. Waiting on you, Commander. Gonna do the same thing. Gonna put the SM9 on B though. And just the arrow to A. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Nice. The minefield on that guy. You betcha. We get into internals. We don't know if we're in an internal structure yet. Really, buddy? Really? Still completely unstable. Um, B is going to take the rotary. I don't know how badly damaged it is, but we'll hit the A, hit A with a bunch of stuff. Uh, and the tag. Actually, you'll put the tag on B. There goes the other arm. Okay, he's crapping his pants. This guy should be out of weapons now. Oh, they can. Standing by. Got it. Let's lose this AC on this guy. Putting my weight into it. Well, he's yeah. gone. Because he brought a 50 ton mech to a 100 ton mech battle. How's this guy doing? Only got one wound. Still hitting pretty good though. Crap, he's got acid on me. Warning. Armor low. Eh, not that low. Come on. What are you doing? Yeah, the MRM-30. Should be able to take care of this. Show me your war face. <laughs> Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, when he moves, he's pretty much done for. Just back up to here. He's got significant leg problems right now. Yeah, we're good. Until they knock us over.
Uh huh. Some bullshit right there. Jesus. Warning. Armor low. Forget the armor. What about my stability? All this guy's got to do is blow on me. Yep. Warning. Stability lost. At least we're going last this turn. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. What can I do for you? Coordinates received. Okay. Um, and then let's hit this guy. No, cause yeah. See if we can get a tag on him. Got it. Nope. Did I not change that over? I didn't change it over. They're catapult. Oh, it doesn't go before me. Who is that? Oh, that's the uh, the guy I can't see. We're gonna reserve Grimdark till after Baba Yaga goes. Their catapult goes before me. Don't think he. I think he has a couple medium lasers left. That's probably it. If anything. Oh, he's got a couple of those peeps. This guy needs to be taught a lesson. Oh. Shred him. Give him everything you got. Enemy mech destroyed. Ready for orders. Can't melee, huh? Turn the supercharger off then. No, we got shooting too. Um, how badly is this guy hurt in the side? Pretty good. Let's see if we can finish up this guy. Nicely done. Back destroyed. Yeah, this is a nice challenge. Okay, really the only major threat left, I think, is that Barbarian. If he gets close, we're in trouble. Although I don't think he's capable of killing Grimdark with one shot. If he gets lucky on a back shot, he could do it. Um... I know if I rain the thunder on this guy. You know what? I think the thunder needs to come down on this guy. Uh, because I can move a little closer to him then. Um, with Grimdark. And then when he moves next turn, he'll be affected by the minefield and won't be able to melee. Nah, not really. All right. Stay in cover. Hmm. 
This is just some weird ass. This is like hands. This is such a weird ass looking mech. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, you're still all right. Stop complaining. Like, look at this. This is supposed to be arms or something. Oh. If I decided to commit suicide. Fine by me. Although I think I should go after that heiress. Drop everything on this guy? Probably. Firing everything I've got. On my way. Okay, let's start moving up this way. They're shifting their ground, or we're gonna shift ours. Actually, you know what? If I do this. Should be able to smoke this guy, right? He's got very little left in the CT, so let's dial this down to two. That should be plenty, I think. Uh, I'm gonna save the Warlord. Which now frees up Grimdark. I'm gonna Vigilance. I don't know if it's really gonna help all that much. Supercharger on, and we're going to sprint up over here. All right, full speed. Hopefully, get to in melee range of this guy for next turn. I don't think we'll go before him next turn, but we might. We just might. We just might, Mr. Frodo. We just might. Um, hopefully, Hawk Dam can go before the Barbarian. I'd like to drop another minefield there. Oh, I can't. I'm out of I'm out of I'm out of LRMs. Oh, we can swarm the Valkyra though. Hopefully, claim a leg or two. Okay, he should take a fair amount of of uh, minefield damage. Oh yeah, ninety nine. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that guy meleeing us. Huh. I actually have to move. Yeah, I don't think that barbarian can move that far. Not with missing a leg. Well, that's the catapult. Shoot, I thought that was the... Uh, I should have been reading. That should do it. No leg? Maybe. He's going down. Yeah, he's going down. Don't know if he's dead or not. Waiting on you, Commander. Got it. I wonder when this guy's going to be out of uh, ammo. Okay, Crapapult and this guy, Barbarian's taking the thunder. And everything else on the Crapapult. We got a ping? I think we got a ping. Nice. So when this guy gets up, he'll take more minefield damage. Yeah, we still got a fair bit of thunder ammo left. I made sure I had like eight turns or so, I think, for those LRMs with thunder. Maybe a little bit more. I can't remember. I think I have... Maybe it's two and a half tons of ammo, so it's enough for like ten turns or something. And then... Um, we got I got like a double load of regular LRM ammo in there as well. 
Ow. Yeah, he wants to fight. Good to go. Here comes. Head down. See ya, buddy. See ya. He's a king, but I don't think he's as tough as uh, Megasaur. Okay, you've got like no leg armor left, so you're not going to be able to do any damage to me, but this guy needs to go. Warlord, confirm, target, rank up to six for both, and let's rack him. Tag him and bag him. I don't know, like the, the, the ultra, like the auto cannon dire wolf is actually working out fairly well. Definitely hits hard, a lot of stability damage. I don't know if it would be better with um, two ultra fives and uh, two rack fives. Good to go. Probably. Let's see if you can get them both. That guy's out of uh, AMS ammo. I don't think he expected to face two uh, LRM mechs. Fire in. Oh, painful. See if we can get that torso. There we go. Solid connection on that one. He's not gonna bail out. Sorry to be you, buddy. Click <laughs> it up. Putting up some big numbers. Enemy destroyed. There it is. Grimdark King, next time leave Grimdark alone. Mission successful. How are you king? That dude needed us to bail his ass out. How is he king? I think Megasaur is king, that's what I think. <laughs> Five kills for the dire wolf, nice. Grimdark got three, so not bad. Okay, it doesn't really matter what we take here. Uh, let's finish up a C21. Might as well. There it is. All right. Double ballistic. Oh, that would have been nice. Minus one ballistic recoil. Minus 10% heat generated from ballistic weapons fire. Why can't I get this earlier? Ah, it's a nice one. Anyway. All right, well, there it is, folks. Smoke Dragor took Ironhold from Jade Falcon. Jade Falcon's slowly trying to take Ironhold back, eh? There's a C2. Defiant Shredder LBX Auto Cannon 2s, eh? 410,000 in repairs. Hope we're not paying for Grimdark. Screw him. Grimdark, high orbit. Good work, Commander. Thank you, Agent X. We got Grim away on a specialized scientific jump strip, yeah, I bet. I trust we'll use discretion in future conversations about this. However, people may think you're watching cartoon holovids if you do talk. Let's crap open the loot box that Grimm left us. He has a cute drawing of a stick figure stabbing a human. <laughs> yeah, huh? This one is going on the fridge, I think. Alright, see what we get here. Pay out zero sea bills? Really? A long sword? That's actually quite good. Six heat per turn. 
four slots, six tons, plus 60 melee damage, plus 50% melee damage, plus 50% melee stability damage. Are you kidding, kidding me? Vibrosaur, wow. And now we just get to here. ER large laser, big deal. PPC, Tigart plus. Recoil of three. Um, 65 damage, 48 heat. That's eh, not too bad, I guess. Gyro sta stabilizer, Seuss, melee hands, death from above. Eh. I mean, this would have been nice to get earlier because it's a lot of uh, melee stuff, but. So there you go, guys. If you if you want to get melee stuff, take the grim grim dark one a lot earlier. All right. Well, nine hundred and seventy thousand. So we did, we made we made it okay with that. C bill wise, but um, and we picked up a couple of mechs too in this one. I mean, not a big deal, but. See what we got here. So we got the catapult and the, and the uh, thunderbolt. So Artemis four fire control, eh? Endo steel, LRM long fire. That's an interesting build, but it's kind of a weird build. And then the catapult two C, of course. LB two X's, LRM fifteens. Yeah, not bad. Alright guys, that will be it for this episode. That was grim dark. It took a little longer than I expected, but uh, I was hoping for more. When it says long, I was expecting like between, you know, um, three and five uh, missions. I know we did three, but I was just hoping for the longer end of it. But anyway, that is what it is. Hope you enjoyed the series. Um, I really enjoyed playing Night Witches. Like I said, when we come back for episode 121, it'll just going to be a recap episode. We're going to have a look at all our pilots. Um... Most likely what I'll do, um, to go to MechWares real quick, most likely what I'll do is um, make sure everybody's healed up for that episode, uh, spend whatever last experience we got to raise everybody up a level or whatever. Um, the one thing we do have to keep in mind, though, is that I think we played like seven episodes, eight episodes of this series before we started. Um, with the new version of Rogue Tech. Now, I think it was 998 at the time. Uh, we started off in 997, and then they came up with the new version, which broke saves, which we started over, I think, episode 8. I think it was episode 8 we started over. So this really is seven episodes shy of um, of uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn because they played the full 120. But we're going to go with number of days in service and number of kills, uh, plus number of missions and number of kills to kind of give us a ratio of how well the pilots did. Um, but we'll figure that out once we do that, um, final episode, 121. I'm not sure when it will be out. I know tomorrow night, as long as it's cool outside tomorrow, I'm going to record, uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn and finish that up. Uh, I think we're doing Grim Dark again on that one, so we'll have to see what happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, once that's, once done, I'm going to do that episode. It might take a couple of days to put it together. It shouldn't be that bad, I don't think, but uh, we'll see how it goes, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the series. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Um, also, if you've got any uh, comments about uh, any other games you'd like to see me play in the future, definitely going to continue with Rogue Tech once the new version comes out. Um, I haven't actually checked today to see if any movement has actually happened with it or not, but I know they're working on some special th stuff for the new version. Um, but yeah, if you've got any uh, ideas of... Uh, uh, games like to see me try and play I'll uh, more than happy to, to see about trying to do that um, so just drop it in the comments section down below all right and until next time we'll see you all later